Well, hello everyone. Alan from airgunsworld.com here again with a good review of the Beretta PX4 Storm. This is a replica of a real Beretta PX4 Storm. You see here, whoops, I'm going to hit the tripod all the time here. Beautiful gun here, isn't it? Beautiful gun. Real metal here. Real slide. No CO2 in it right now. If you hold this back here and pull it, it'll stay. I don't know why, but it does. I'm going to hold it again to get it back. Alright. Beautiful gun, isn't it? We're going to do a little crony test here on it. We are going to test lead versus alloy crossman lead pellets crossman alloy pellets i believe these are tin or aluminum they do sound off on my metal detector so they are metal this is the ejection right here button for the uh, magazine there it is all right so one side i get i got uh, these right here are the uh, alloy pellets. Other side, there's a lead. We're gonna put it on the chronograph and see what does a little better. The uh, advertised speed for this thing is 380. It's probably lead. We're gonna see uh, any difference here. Just wanted to point a couple things out. Uh, sometimes I walk in the woods with this thing shoot snakes or whatever I carry this Crossman holster with me very nice little holster I keep uh, pellets in here these are the gammos here the gold ones and uh, keep another CO2 cartridge right there now many of you may see this uh, rubber band here it is on there for a purpose and I will show you right now when I'm walking around with this thing, I have it strapped to my waist. And uh, say I'm out metal detecting, I bend over and my waist pinches the uh, holster here and it hits this button here and it'll hit it right there. And it'll pop out and I will lose it in the woods. <laughs> I have lost two of these already. So that's what that rubber band is for. So I strap it around right here when I'm walking around in the woods and I can bend over and do whatever else and if my waist hits the button like I'm doing right now it will not pop out where's the button? I'm hitting it, yeah I'm hitting it see there it goes, won't pop out anyway just a little pointer there this is an awesome gun, I really like it shoots hard, shoots fast uh, probably get uh, 60 good shots out of this thing Got another mag for it All right, so let's go do some crony test see what this thing will do between alloy and lead Be back in a sec. All right here. We are with the Beretta PX4 storm in the Crossman holster You can get at Walmart for I think five dollars Like these little holsters you can hold extra co2 and pellets right in there. Anyway, here's the star of the show A little dusty. All right, we're gonna do some crony test. There's my chronograph. Turn it on. First, we are doing these are uh, lead pellets here. Shoot a couple, two or three maybe. Then we'll do the uh, alloy pellets. All right, here we go. Safety is off. First shot. Let's cock it like it's supposed to be. Yeah. Three hundred and ninety four point six feet per second with lead. Second shot. Three hundred and eighty nine point eight. All right, we're going to flip this over. Try the alloy pellets. See if they go faster. Third shot. 
489.1 that's a hundred feet per second faster that's pretty good man one more shot Four hundred and sixty-eight. All right, so we a little over a hundred. Well, let's see, eighty to a hundred uh, feet per second faster with the alloy pellets. I don't know if they're going to hit as hard, so we're going to find out. We're going to shoot a can of tomato soup with lead and alloy and see which one hits harder, what's more and penetrates more. So, uh, so you'll know. So you will know. All right, be back in one sec. All right, here we are. Back with the Beretta PX4 Storm for the fun part of the show. We're going to shoot a can of tomato soup. Uh, I took the wrapper off of it just because you can see the stuff oozing out if it penetrates. So first, we're going to go with lead. Lead pellets first, then the uh, alloy. They are tin or aluminum, I believe. See which one penetrates more. Uh, we got a camera. Camera number two down there filming the action. Here we go. Safety is off. One more because this is fun. You see the <laughs> see the ooze coming out. Alright. Alright, the uh Second portion of the test for the uh, destruction part. We got the uh, alloy pellets in here now. The uh, leads look pretty good. They uh, they went through and oozed a good bit. Uh, they did not go through the back of the can, so we turned the can around. See some dents in it now from the lead. Now we'll see how the uh, alloy pellets penetrate. They're uh, probably tin or aluminum, aluminum, like I said before. All right, do a few shots. Here we go. We are, by the way, about 15 feet away. Well, they penetrated. Just like the lead did. They were pulling a little right though. They weren't staying as straight as the lead. That's okay. Let's go grab camera two and check it out. Okay, we are here with camera two. Checking out the ooze. Checking out the ooze. Let's see what we got here. Well, this is uh. This is the uh, alloy pellet side. They penetrated just as good, looks like. Here's the lead side. I don't see any reverse dents in here though. There's no dents in this side from the other, other pellets. So uh, on this side, you can see the dents. When we first started, I saw some dents from the lead. So it looks like the lead made it to the back. There's one right there. There's one there. There's one there. That's from the lead coming from the other side, I believe. Yeah, so it almost penetrated. You see that crack right there. Ooh. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. Tomato soup. All right, I don't see any dents in this side. So the lead went a little further through the soup. Hit the back side and almost went through. So uh, lead definitely penetrates more, but if you are shooting little pests, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet, you're going to kill both of them, or kill them with uh, both pellets. All right, so let's get a couple of conclusions here for the Beretta PX4 Storm wrapping up here. Uh, alloy pellets versus lead. Uh, 100 feet per second faster than the lead. Not bad. Lead hits harder on, on these uh, tin cans that you saw. They hit that, went through the front of the can, Hit the back of the can, almost came through, made a little crack in it. Definitely made dents in the back of the can. Alloys did not do that. They did, I don't think they even made it to the back of the can, but they, uh, they definitely go faster. So uh, your choice for a uh, little pest control with these things, which one to use? Uh, I'd say for home defense, if you wanted to use it for home defense, use some lead. 
you know, if that's all you have, if that's all you have, and they don't have a real gun, <laughs> go for it. But as far as pest control and plinking, uh, well, both are kind of nice. Uh, the others are faster. Not as accurate. I was, uh, the, the tin was pulling to the right, or the alloy pellets were pulling a little to the right on the can. I had to actually aim at the left side of the can, so they're definitely, definitely will not stay uh, straighter than lead. So, uh, it's up to you guys. I use both. I use both just, just for the heck of it. All right. Conclusion of my test. This is a great little gun. Very solid. Nice weight too. Trigger's really nice. See, so watch. Trigger's nice. All right. Take care, folks. We'll see you later.